Hey YouTube, this is Clive Kute from Mediafix and today we're going to look at a problem that I've encountered with Adobe Premiere CS6. So let me just open up the project. So as I'm loading this project, um, an error message pops up and um, you'll see that shortly. As you can see, we're loading up. As we get to about halfway or three quarters, this error message pops up which says Premiere Pro has encountered an error with a whole bunch of code written after it, which ends in tick time dot cpp dash two o seven close brackets. Um, and the way I found to to beat this is simply to just press continue until it disappears, and the load project will eventually load up towards the end. So as you can see, I'm just pressing continue, and the uh, the project is slowly but surely loading up. Um, having read through a, a number of forums and um, trying to find a resolution to the problem, um, it's a problem that occurs when you have too many warp stabilizer effects in your project and um, your project just encounters this problem and for some reason Adobe haven't managed to fix it yet even though it's been going on for a few generations of, of Premiere Pro. Um, so as you can see I'm pressing continue and the project is slowly, very slowly creeping forward. Estimates that you have to click continue probably towards about 75 to 100 times, but this is the only way I've managed to fix this error. Otherwise, removing the warp stabilizer effect. And as you can see now it's disappeared and the project will continue to load and we're in. There we go, we're in. Now, um, the same problem happens when you go to export your video. So let's try and export. Um, let's just do match sequence settings and I'll just put this on my desktop. And um, you go to hit export or queue, whichever, and um, it goes to load up Adobe Media Encoder CS6. and the same error message will pop up once it's loaded in. There we see it again. So if we just press, keep pressing continue, slowly but surely it will disappear and we can go and load into Adobe Media Encoder and continue to export our project. And there we have it. Parent data for export has almost come to the end and Adobe Media Encoder will load up very shortly, starting to export the data. And from this point onwards, there should be no problems. Just to um, confirm that you will have to do this every single time you want to export something. So um, if you're trying to export in various different formats, unless you're using the watch folders tool, um, this is going to happen every single time. Like I said, the only way around this is to delete the warp stabilizer effects or limit the amount that you use. As you can see now that it's in the media encoder CS6, um, let me just get rid of this. And if we press play, everything will start to render out properly with no problems from this point forward. This is Clive Coutet, um from Mediafix and thank you for listening. Bye.